Nunavik Inuktitut, comprises the northern third of the province of Quebec, Canada in Kativik, part of the Nord du Québec region. Covering a land area of 443,684.71 square kilometers, 171,307.62 square miles, north of the 55th parallel, it is the homeland of the Inuit of Quebec. Almost all of the 12,090 inhabitants 2011 census of the region, of whom 90% are Inuit, live in 14 northern villages on the coast of Nunavik and in the Cree Reserved Land of Wapmagustui, near the northern village of Kujarapik. Nunavik means, "...great land." In the local dialect of Inuktitut and the Inuit inhabitants of the region call themselves Nunavimiat. Until 1912, the region was part of the district of Ungava of the Northwest Territories. Negotiations for regional autonomy and resolution of outstanding land claims took place in the 2000s. The seat of government would be Kuijwak. Negotiations on better empowering Inuit political rights in their land are still ongoing. A flag for Nunavik was proposed by Nunavik artist and graphic designer Thomas Mangiok during an April 2013 plan Nunavik consultation in Ivoyavik. Topic: History Concern about Canada's claims to sovereignty in the High Arctic resulted in the federal government of Canada forcing several Inuit families to leave Nunavik in the 1950s. They were transported much further north, to barren hamlets at Grise Fjord and Resolute in what is now Nunavut in an effort to demonstrate Canada's legal occupation of these territories and thereby assert sovereignty in the High Arctic by increasing its population during the Cold War. Eight Inuit families from Inukwak on the Ungava Peninsula were relocated after being promised homes and game to hunt, but the relocated people discovered no buildings and very little familiar wildlife. They were told that they would be returned home to Nunavik after a year if they wished, but this offer was later withdrawn as it would damage Canada's claims to sovereignty in the high Arctic area and the Inuit were forced to stay. Eventually, the Inuit learned the local beluga whale migration routes and were able to survive in the area, hunting over a range of 18,000 square kilometers (6,900 square miles) each year. In 1993, the Canadian government held hearings to investigate the relocation program. The Royal Commission on Aboriginal Peoples issued a report the following year entitled The High Arctic Relocation, a report on the 1953–55 relocation. The government paid $10 million CAD to the survivors and their families, and finally apologized in 2010. The whole story is told in Melanie McGrath's The Long Exile, a tale of Inuit betrayal and survival in the High Arctic. Topic. Geography Nunavik is a vast territory, larger than the U.S. state of California, located in the northernmost part of Quebec. It lies in both the Arctic and subarctic climate zones. Altogether, about 12,000 people live in Nunavik's communities, and this number has been growing in line with the tendency for high population growth in indigenous communities. Nunavik is separated from the territory of Nunavut by Hudson Bay to the west and Hudson Strait and Ungava Bay to the north. Nunavik shares a border with the Côte Nord region of Quebec and the Labrador region of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. The Ungava Peninsula forms the northern two-thirds of the region. There are no road links between Nunavik and southern Quebec, although the Trans-Taiga Road of the Jamaisi region ends near the 55th parallel on the Kaniapaskau Reservoir, several hundred kilometres south of Kuijwak. There is a year-round air link to all villages and seasonal shipping in the summer and autumn. 
Parts of the interior of southern Nunavik can be reached using several trails which head north from Shefferville. Nunavik has 14 villages, the vast majority of whose residents are Inuit. The principal village and administrative centre in Nunavik is Kuijwak, on the southern shore of Ungava Bay. The other villages are Inukwak, where the film Nanuk of the North was shot, Saluit, Puvernituk, Ivoyavik, Kangakshuwak, Kangakswalujwak, Kangirsik, Tasiajak, Alpalik, Akulivik, Kwaktak, Kujarapik, and Umiujak. The village population census 2011 ranges from 2,375 to 195 Alpalik. There are five meteor craters in Nunavik, Pingualuit Crater, Katur Crater, Lemoinery Crater and the two craters that together form the Clearwater Lakes. Climate. The climate of Nunavik is a severe one dominated by the long and bitterly cold winters as the seas to the west, east and north freeze over, eliminating maritime moderation. Since this moderation exists in summer when the surrounding sea thaws, even those temperatures are subdued. Inukwak, for example, has summer highs averaging just 13 degrees Celsius (55 degrees Fahrenheit) with January highs of minus 21 degrees Celsius (minus 6 degrees Fahrenheit). This is exceptionally cold for a sea level settlement more than one third from the North Pole en route to the equator. Annual temperatures are up to 15 degrees Celsius colder than marine areas of northern Europe on similar parallels. Areas less affected by summertime marine moderation have somewhat warmer temperatures and unlike the west coast, features marginal taiga due to summers being warmer than 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit in mean temperatures. Demographics Villages by population Ethnicity Language The following table does not include Canada's official languages of French and English. Topic: <inaudible> Economy. <inaudible> Nunavik is rich in mineral deposits where Raglan Mine, situated near Saluit, is one of the largest mines in the region. It is linked by all weather roads to an airstrip at Katanik Donaldson Airport and to the concentrate, storage, and ship loading facilities at Deception Bay. Production began at the mine in 1997. The current mine life is estimated at more than 30 years. Because the site is situated in the subarctic permafrost region, it requires unique construction and mining techniques to protect the fragile permafrost and to address other environmental issues. The average annual temperature is minus 10 degrees Celsius, 14 degrees Fahrenheit, with an average ambient temperature underground of minus 15 degrees Celsius, 5 degrees Fahrenheit. There are plans to increase production at a new mine in Raglan South. Topic: <laughs> Arts and Culture. The villages of Nunavik are populated predominantly by Inuit. Much like their Nunavimiyat neighbors to the north, the Nunavimiyat carve sculptures from soapstone and eat primarily caribou and fish. On clear nights, the aurora is often visible, and outdoors activities are abundant in this region. Government. 
Nunavik, along with the Quebec portion of the James Bay region or Jamaisie in French, is part of the administrative region of Nord du Québec. The James Bay and Northern Quebec Agreement of 1978 led to greater political autonomy for most of the Nunavik region with the founding of the Kativik Regional Government. All inhabitants of the 14 northern villages, both Inuit and non-Inuit, vote in regional elections. The Kativik Regional Government is financed by the Government of Quebec 50%, the Government of Canada 25%, and local revenues 25%. The agreement also led to the creation of the Kativik Regional Police Force, which provides police services in the Kativik region since 1996. The Makivik Corporation, headquartered in Kuijwak, represents the Inuit of Northern Quebec in their relations with the governments of Quebec. Quebec and Canada. They are seeking greater political autonomy for the region and have recently negotiated an agreement defining their traditional rights to use the resources of the offshore islands of Nunavik, all of which are part of Nunavut. The Cree village of Wapmagustui, which forms an enclave on the eastern shore of Hudson Bay near the northern village of Kujarapik, is part of the Cree Regional Authority, which itself has been incorporated into the Grand Council of the Crees the Niskapi Nation of Kawawachikamach, of the Cote Nord region to the south of Nunavik, owns an exclusive hunting and trapping area in southern Nunavik and is represented in the Kativik Regional Government. <laughs> Regional Government of Nunavik The governments of Quebec and Canada and Nunavik had negotiated a proposal to establish a regional government of Nunavik. This is in part a recognition of the region's political distinctiveness, having a different language, culture, climate and voting pattern than the rest of the province of Quebec, as well as part of the overall trend towards devolution of Canada's Arctic territories. While Quebec and Canada would still maintain full jurisdiction over the area, the Nunavik government will have an elected parliamentary-style council and cabinet, and a public service funded by the province and responsible for delivering certain social services such as education and health. The regional government would have also had rights to the region's natural resources, including royalties from the various mines in the region. This proposal was rejected by about 66% of voters in a referendum in 2011. It is expected that negotiations will continue in the future to work to establish a more autonomous government for Nunavik in the future. The government will be based on territory, not ethnicity, so that all people residing in Nunavik can be full participants. Existing government structures, such as the Kativik Regional Government, Kativik School Board, and Nunavik Regional Board of Health and Social Services, will be folded into the new regional government. The Quebec government has also expressed a desire to add an additional seat to the National Assembly to represent Nunavik, despite the region's small population. Currently, Nunavik is part of the riding of Ungava, its residents making up just under half of the riding's population. As a riding, Nunavik would be the second least populous in Quebec, slightly more populous than Isles de la Madeleine, which is able to exist as a separate riding under an exception to the laws on population distribution by riding. Topic. See also Takramiat Napingat Tursahuk National Park List of proposed provinces and territories of Canada Nunachavit Topic. Notes Topic. Further reading Topic. External links 
Kativik Regional Government Website Nunavik Marine Region Planning Commission Website Interactive Map of Information on Nunavik Communities Makivik Corporation Northern Quebec at Curlie